Hi. Oh, wow. That came out terribly. Wow. My voice came out all screechy and shit. That was gross. Let's try that again. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo. I got the sniffles today. And I don't... I don't feel too good. Anyways, I may have gotten the virus. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways, Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo. Now I know what you're saying. Come on, not another Final Fantasy VII Remake video. I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom has made a video on the demo, especially those people who've never played the original game. You know? Those type of people? God. Anyways. So, I am super excited, as all, for Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I haven't really talked about it that much on this channel. Why? Because I feel like that's been done to hell by multiple other people and what's the point of just watching the same content over and over made by a different person unless you really enjoy that person and if you do more power to you and if you do i hope i'm that person but i'm probably not so um final fantasy 7 remake here's the thing i really debated with myself whether to play this demo or not because i wanted to start the game like as fresh as i can and the whole entirety of the marketing for Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake, I've only seen like three trailers. So, and I want to say those are like three like commercial trailers. Uh, not even like the, not counting like the one at press conferences. Um, the only other thing that I really know is that apparently, sadly, uh, Red 13 will not be playable in Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 1 anyways because he joined he basically joins your team while you're leaving Midgar. So there's really no reason to uh to make a playable character if you're not really going to be able to utilize him for that long. Um other than that Oh man, I know I'm talking way too much before we start this video, but other than that, I wanted to do a Final Fantasy 7 playthrough, but since everyone else and their mom is doing it before the game comes out, what I'm going to do is once Final Fantasy 7 Remake comes out and we're done with that, uh, in, in anticipation for Final Fantasy uh, Remake Part 2, then we'll do the uh, the original Final Fantasy playthrough, and after that, we'll do like Crisis Core and Dirgerous or Cerberus, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, I can never pronounce its name right, it doesn't matter. That game sucks, anyways. Uh, yeah, and then maybe, maybe if I'm up for it, maybe we'll play some Final Fantasy Dissolio. And I'm not talking about that shitty one that came out, I'm talking about the one for the PSP, I'm talking about Dual Decim. But yeah, Final Fantasy. For those of you who don't know, I am a very, very big fan of Final Fantasy. I love it. Honestly, I love Final Fantasy VII. Don't get me wrong. I want a Final Fantasy VIII remake so bad. <laughs> I want that more than I want the VII remake. I know. I know. Renoa sucks. I know. Cypher's an asshole. But, but that game is so interesting in its mechanics. That I feel like it needs to be redone. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Final Fantasy VII remake. Let's go. Ah, oh, select the version to purchase. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I just pressed the options button. Oh, options is for person. Purchase. My bad. Start game. What would you like to do with your controls? Why would you ever? Why would you ever? My dog is making so much noise. Why do you do this? Hey. I turn around and he's rolling in his bed like a fucking puppy. He's just rolling around and like biting himself. What are you doing? Sit, man. Don't look at me like that. This man is disruptive. He's fucking disruptive, man. I tell you. Every time. Let's see. Select the difficulty in the game. Blah, 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 blah. Classic is recommended if you want to focus on using compliment. I am not going to be playing this game on Classic when it comes out. I mean, that's not the point of the remake, right? <clears throat> Maybe on like a replay. But normal mode is fine. It's a demo. 
this is one of those things where like it's here and I don't feel excited, not because I don't want it, but because I know it's not the full game. So I can't feel excited for it. But we're like a month away. Oh my god, Aerith, you look so beautiful. What are they going to call her in this game? We'll finally we'll finally defeat the the fucking the years. The year old question, is it Aerith or Eris? This shall be the definitive a definitive answer. She's so pretty. She's way better than Tifa. I'm sorry for anybody out there who think who honestly thinks Tifa is better. Bro, get your head out your ass. What are you doing? Well, Tifa, she got big titties. I don't care. Have you played Final Fantasy VII? Tifa sucks. Oh my god. Did they redesign Eris? Wasn't her, like... Did, like, in the... I, I could have sworn in the trailers her face looked a little different. Am I wrong? Am I wrong to say that? I'm not calling her ugly. She still looked good regardless. But she looks different. Oh my god, they're Shinra. They're Shinra's HQ. Right smack dab in the middle of fucking the big guard. Oh my god. Honestly, like, this game is kind of like Cyberpunk to me. When Cyberpunk got delayed till September, I was so happy. You don't know how happy I was, because I felt like that game was coming out too early. I honestly did. I felt like if that game came out this month in March, that game would be buggy and glitchy as hell, and it would be terrible. But this is coming out in April. God damn. I honestly want this to be like a PS5 launch. Or, you know, Xbox Series X or whatever. Listen, when I'm talking about when I'm talking about anime Japanese games, it's always going to be on the PlayStation. Nobody buys an Xbox for anime games. If you do, you are heavily heavily confused. Oh my god. You had to kick him like that, Jess? There's Big and Wedge. There's Barrett. There's there's Big Daddy Barrett. Get down here, Merc. Get down here, Merc. Oh. Did somebody call for anime? They changed Cloud's face too. Wasn't wasn't his face different in like the original promo shit? I have materia on my Buster Sword. Wow. 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 Oh wow. <laughs> Fuck it. This looks beautiful. Oh my god, look at that train. For once, Cloud isn't the same size as the fuck. Actually, he kind of is. But it's to scale. Remember in the original game, you start the game and Cloud is like a giant compared to the fucking train? You're like, god damn, how small is that train? What's up, Barrett? You gonna talk to me? You gonna talk? No? Who goes there? You're up. I'm up. All right, use square to attack with Cloud's sword. Hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple enemies. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Rebel up. I'm level seven. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Can we open up the menu? Paused. Command menu. Spells, items. Oh, there's our little HP bar. Hmm. So right off the bat. Just feeling that. it. Uh, I'm going to try not to take a whole hour to record this. Because I know people spend like two hours streaming this game and shit. And I don't think this demo is that long. It's just like the first area, right? Um, right off the bat, the combat is already better than Final Fantasy XV. Straight up. And it's because Final Fantasy XV, they were like, We want it to feel realistic. S this game is so realistic while you teleport everywhere. It's crazy. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him. Have fun. 
What do you mean have fun? You're not gonna help me? Fuck you guys. The ATB gauge fails as time passes, and by attacking with square, once a bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Charge can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. Alright. Huh. You can expend, expend, well for some reason I thought I said that wrong, I said that right. You can expend ATP gauge charges to perform battle commands, such as using abilities, magic, or items. Are we gonna have fucking Matra Missile? I think that's what it's called, right? Am I wrong? Is Matra Missile gonna be in part two? You know, when you head outside of Midgar and you fucking get, you fucking, you get to random battles until you use enemy skill to grab the fucking Matra Missile, because that shit is powerful as fuck. <laughs> Abilities, Braver, and Force Thrust. God damn! Look at all those particles. I'm surprised my PlayStation isn't screaming by now. I have a PS4 Pro, and sometimes it screams while I'm playing Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> When not in battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Wow. When the blank icon appears above characters close, automatically jump, crash, perform, or okay, cool. On map screen, you can check your current scenario, objective, view, and lay of the land. Alright. Wait, what would that say? Show relative to position. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Story. Enter the reactor grounds. Follow Barrett and the others. Alright, view chapter list. Ooh. So just in case if you don't know what the fuck's going on, you get some summaries, like it's Final Fantasy 13, I guess, right? You know? They had like that encyclopedia uh blah, 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 I can't speak that encyclopedia shit. I was about to say encyclopedia. God damn it. The stadia? What's that? Alright, battle settings. Ooh, so it's like quick commands, like fucking, like Kingdom Hearts. Limit break is cross slash. Nice. Spells. We just have fire. I guess that's the material I have on right now. Items. Potion and ethers. Party. No one. Manual. In the fields. Oh, tutorials. Okay. Systems. Options. Gameplay. Do 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 do. All right, combat display. Dialogue, speaker name, Minimax static. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just going through the menus because I want to see like the quality of life shit that they have here. All right, blink. Drop the weapon. Why would I drop this bad weapon? Yeah, what he said. Huh. Bigs and wedge voices are actually pretty cool. Guarding and evading. Press R1 or hold circle. Oh, press circle to evade. Okay. Successful guard reduces the amount of damage. So you still take damage, but it's lessened. Okay. What's this? Oh my god. This is Punisher mode right now. And if I evade, it takes me back to whatever I had before. Operator mode. Okay. That's interesting. What is the difference? Ah. Huh. Little bombs and stuff like that? Are these ATM machines? Can I go in here? No? Alright. Press triangle to open chests, doors, or talk to people. If you see the word hold, then you need to hold it. I mean, I assume so, right? I like the design of this chest. Eh. Ooh. Ah, grenades. Nice. Is this anime right here? Oh, uh, what? It's dogs. There's a bunch of dogs. The Adventure of Stamp? Stamp? Stomp? 
Stop book three? What does that say? Loveless. Hmm. What if you just saw like a poster for fucking uh, Final Fantasy Spirit Spirited Awakens or whatever the fuck that movie's called? That shit's terrible. Oh my god. <coughs> I had a cough. Anyways, if you find boxes with the Shenra logo, press square to break the shit out of them. They may contain useful items such as potions that restore HP or Mako shards that restore MP. Oh, I guess that would make sense because like isn't Mako, I mean isn't Materia basically just like super hardened like raw ma Mako from like the earth? So what Soldier Boy's deal? Soldier Boy? Uh. He's got balls this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Wedge doesn't look like as big of a loser. Are you guys fucking talking about me? I'm right here. So, uh, I can't talk to you guys. All right. What do you got to say? Right, Cloud? Wow. They've almost got the door. We're doing this. We're really doing it. Man. I think I'm going to be sick. You'll keep us safe. All right. So now you're just repeating dialogue. It's fine. Hey, Barrett. What you doing? Alright, that was unnecessary. I get you don't like me, Barrett, but come on. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Hearing these characters say the word gill. It's weird, but I like it. There's the money shot. Everybody get your thumbnails out. We're not gonna use that as a thumbnail. You know, I'm not a basic bitch. I don't I make my own thumbnails. Haha. -ha. Actually that's why I don't. <laughs> I get commissions. Is this where I just came from? Yeah it is. Okay. I got a cough. I got, like, I don't feel good today. <coughs> I don't feel bit terrible, but it's not. Is that a dog? You can press R3 to lock on to specific targets. Yeah, all right. Okay. Get him, boy. Guess you're Let's get this fucking dog. Damn, that dog taking a lot of fucking damage. My fucker threw a grenade at me. You kidding me? Alright, spells. Burn that bitch. Burn. Sit your ass down. You're barking at me. What are you doing? Uh. Spells. Fire again. Hit him. No Bow. That. Dead. And I guess I killed the other guy by him being in contact with the fire? So the fire has spread damage. Alright. That's nice to know. Alright. We'll do. Shimmer boxes. Uh. You no stand. You no know, chance for my sword. No chance for my sword. Wow. I, I completely fucked up what I just said. I said you're no stand. Then I said you're no chance for my sword. What I meant to say was, 
you don't stand a chance against my sword. For some reason, it just didn't come out like that. Alright. Is there anything over here? Shinra boxes. Uh. Mako shards. Nice. So they're not items, they just instantly recover your MP. Can I go through? Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. And I gotta deal with them? No one's gonna give me like cover fire or anything? Come on, guys. Think you can stop me? Goddamn puncher mode is pretty big. So what is the difference? I'm slower. I can't well hold up. I can guard, right? That's not really a guard, is that? Oh, it's a counter! Oh, fuck it, that's a grenade. Alright, spells, fire. Staggered. Punisher mode seems to do way more damage. Alright, and if you hold the button, it just seems to be like one big attack. And dodging goes back to operator mode? Okay. Can you do combos outside of battle? No. You can just, just swing. I really like that you can see what material you have on your characters. Like the physical material. Alright. Let's see. That was pretty easy. Well, I am level... It'll be harder when the game comes out, because I'm level 7 right now, right? Right? Yeah. Wait, hold up. Oh, I thought it would show, like, uh... Oh, it does show it. Like, how much you need... Not how much you need, but it shows how much, uh... It does show how much you need. What am I saying? It shows how much you need for, uh... Your next level. That's nice. Is there... Is there a jump button at all? Nope. Oh. You can display minimap. With the L2. Oh. Okay. So there's a, a genuine, like, header. Like how they did it in, uh... I think this is what they did in Final Fantasy 15, right? And then you have a minimap. Or you can just have none at all. Okay. That's nice. Is this a door? Oh, I didn't see this. Hold the button. Code deciphered. Well, that's a reference for the original. Oh, this is the area. So now we're actually heading into the Mako Reactor. Mako Reactor 1. Alright. I mean... If it's like the original, then Jess is going to get her legs stuck. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to try not spoil most of uh, Final Fantasy VII. Well, I know they're going to put a bunch of different shit in here. Man, it's so hard not to like spoil this game because you just want to compare it to the original. may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you seen a few reactors. One. So I've seen one before. Above Marco storage. <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stab scared to bite the hand and fed him? Or is he a loyal little dog? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We is Zach talking to me right now? Can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this. But I'll manage. Man, for people who don't know Final Fantasy VII, they're probably going to hate Barrett until the second game. <laughs> I'm just going to go on a whim and say they're going to hate Barrett. Talk to me, Jess. Well, before we talk to Jess, talk to me. 
Barrett. <coughs> oh my god. Wow. Excuse me, I did not mean to do that. Well, I meant to do it, but I didn't mean to do it like on the microphone. All right, so he's repeating himself. What do you got to say, Jess? Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the All door right. open soon. All right. Nothing else. Three, two. Damn, I'm good. Damn, I'm good. Code deciphered. Door. Oh, wait. It's over. That's my life. Man, listen to that music. Switching modes. Okay, every character has unique abilities. Oh. Alright. Cloud mode shift ability. You can switch his balance operator mode or attack oriented punisher mode. Okay. He's alone. In punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly. Yeah. Unleashes more powerful attacks. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. Only melee attacks. Okay. He cannot, however, guard against range attack or magic. Okay. When you evade attacks, uh, you'll switch back to operator mode. We can take it. Make it rain. Fire. No Let's go. All right, what do you got to say, Biggs? Nothing? What about you, Jess? Where are you, Jess? Oh, she's deciphering thing. Simmer down, hot shot. Simmer down, hot shot. Simmer down, hot shot. All right. Code deciphered. Good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? And we're good. Careful in there. I like this, I like this dynamic that Biggs, Wedge, and, uh, and Jess are having. They're all buddy-buddy, and that's the point. Alright. Nothing here. Security is only gonna get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Okay. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but... Are, you are we doing this now? Is Zach talking to me? Tifa and I... <laughs> They're really gonna Oh hey look It's Heimdagger Hi Heimdagger Hi President Shinra These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche sir Is Heimdagger gonna have like that stupid laugh whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Marco is the lifeblood of our world. I love this. <laughs> because in the original, Bear just starts talking about it and nobody says anything. And fucking, I love that both Jess and Cloud are like, does he do this all the time? I know you can. Do you really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. Oof. Say that again. Cloud, did you and Barrett fight again today? No, we didn't. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. 
So instead of Barrett being like Mr. T, like he was in the original, he's just like a black man who loves preaching to the choir. Our lives on the line now. Did he have that material on his gun arm the whole entire time? Do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? Do it for me, Cloud. Oh, Cloud, you got a little bit of uh, smudge on your cheek right there. Let me wipe it off for you. Oh my god, they're gonna add so many things in this game. How. How much of Jess are they going to add? Because that was a big thing in the original. People assumed that, like... Well, it, it did seem like that. They assumed that, like, Jess had a thing for Cloud. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire when equipped with the ranged weapon. Because he can also equip, like, claws and shit. Alright. Barrett can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Yeah, I haven't seen a jump button yet. Is there no jump button in this game at all? Maybe not in part one. They'll probably do it in part two. I mean, they have to do it in part two, right? Like, you're going all around fucking uh, the world and shit. All right. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on Okay. Overcharge, what's that? Alright. Well, thanks for telling me. Press triangle while in control of Barrett and deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATV gauge. Once unleashed, it takes a long time to recharge his attack. Pressing square, however, will speed up the process. I mean square, my bad. Triangle. <laughs> Change page. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I see. Okay, what about his commands? Abilities. Steel skin. Temporarily reduces damage. So, like a tank. Alright. Focus shot. Consumes all ATP. All ATP. Okay. Unleashes a concentrated burst of energy. Significant increases stat. Okay. Wow. What's L2? That's for Cloud. Okay. Speaking of fucking Cloud, hold up. Oh, my bad. Fucking down press the wrong button. I'm pressing the wrong button. Spells. What bear hit? Thunder and Cure. Huh. I always put Thunder and Cure on Cloud, and then I give Barrett, like, the leftovers, like, Fire and Ice. Alright. Hmm. Here you go, Cloud. You're gonna die. Okay, so I'm going to assume each character is going to have some sort of, like, distinct thing about them. Like, of course with the abilities, but even with just, like, the playstyle. Like, Barret, it's literally just, like, hold the fire button. And, of course, later on in the game, they might add some shit. You can also switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issue orders to party allies. Okay, that's what that thing for Cloud was. Well, why wouldn't I play as Cloud? It's just more interactive. I'm sorry, Barrett. Like, switch over the Barrett for, like, um, for, like, staggering enemies and shit. Alright, is there no jump? There's my evade. Huh. I guess there is no jump button in this game whatsoever. That's kind of weird. Look what we have here. A laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size in no time. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey. Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. God damn, Jess. You just hitting him with all types of flirtation. 
you can move around outside of battle more quickly. Oh, that's nice. There, I love how there's like three different buttons for the dash. I'll use R2 because it's there. Ow! I'm fine, Jess. Thanks for asking. That came out very aggressively. But I meant it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. There's no like... Oh! Stopped myself just in time. Shiver boxes! Huh. Okay. Let's see what's up next. What? Oh, they're faster. Oh. Ow. Stop it. I got hit by it like fucking four times. <laughs> I had to like really look at it. I'm like, why is it hurting me? What did I do? They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with the first. Alright, let me handle it, Jess. She's heading back upstairs. Ooh, there's a chest. You obtained a bottle of ether. Nice. Nice! Come on, Barrett. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an Huh. Cloud has an effect on him right now. Can I see what effect that is? Pause. No. He has like... Is it like life steal? Huh. Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressure will be appeared beneath their gauge. When this happens, pelt them with spells, abilities, quickly fill their stagger gauge under their life bar. Once it's filled, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the ability and magic used. Like weaknesses and resistance and stuff. Okay. Um... As well as foes' vulnerabilities, find the most effective attack. All right, cool. I want to know what that status is on Cloud right now. All right, spells, thunder. That did a hefty amount of damage. Enemies who have been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Using unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATP gauge. Boost your ATP gauge quickly so you can unleash more abilities and spells. It just had to get back up. I mean, that's the plan, right? Like, tell, uh, we'll do that. And then, um, tell Cloud to do Braver. And then hit it with Thunder again. Oh, it automatically switches me back to Cloud. Alright, Barrett. You just love picking fights with me. Um... Let me see some. Actually, let's go to systems. No, not sense systems. Let's go to manual. Battles. Basics. Attributes. Magic, defense, strength, blah, blah, blah. Vitality, spirit. Uh, speed, luck. Speed. ACP gauge charge. Okay. Um. Battles. Shortcuts, guarding, evading abilities. Huh, ability. Nothing says uh, about status effects. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't see anything about status effects. Party. Buster Sword. Bronze Bangle. Okay. Infinities. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Are we going to have like. Affinities. What? Is it going to be like the original game where like depending on. I don't think they would do that for the remake though. Like, in the original game, uh, Cloud would have, like, some options, like, when he's speaking to, like, you know, uh, Teeth, uh, Aerith, and, and, like, uh, Yuffie and all of them. Baird and stuff. But, like, and that would, like, affect who you go on a date with at, like, the Golden Saucer or whatever. But this seems like maybe this can either be for summons or... Or maybe each character may have like some sort of like like affinity with another character, like heart to hearts from um Xenoblade. Resistance. Laser resistance. Greater resistance. Greater. Immunities absorbed elements. What? The fuck does that mean? Wait, what? Limit. Fire in the hole. Shoots an orb. So it's big shot. All right. Damage foes while marking on the symbol on your side. Okay. Laser greater immunities. What the fuck is greater resistance? What? What is that? I mean, not greater. Lesser resistance. Greater resistance. Oh, hold up. Immunities, absorbed elements. Oh, okay. Hold up. I. I'm, I read lesser as laser. Why did I do that? Okay, so I assume, like, depending on what materia or equipment you have, it will also show, like, a symbol of, like, fire, electricity, and stuff like that. And it'll say, like, oh, you're resistant to this. You're weak against this. But I still don't know what affinities are. That can either be for each party member or for, um... Or for, like, summons. Because in, um... In Final Fantasy VIII, when you had summons, or whatever the fuck they were called, uh, guardian spirits or whatever the fuck, um, you ha you also had, like, affinities with them. Okay. If I switch Barret to leader, how do I do that? Barret. Is there a... Is there like a switch leader button? Spells, battle settings, cloud, set to leader. Mm, still can't walk around as Barrett. So I'm assuming when you're outside of battle, you can only walk around as cloud. Okay. I love how I said, I'm not going to take an hour to, I'm not going to take an hour to play this. I'm just going to do the demo. And now I'm fucking analyzing everything. Uh, I'm gonna switch Cloud back to him. There you go. Alright. I gotta see what that is. I don't wanna... Here's the thing. I don't wanna quote-unquote spoil myself. Even though I, you know, beaten the original multiple times. I've also platinumed it. On the re-release. <sighs> Getting nine, what, what what was it? Fucking ninety nine million gil or whatever the fuck is the most annoying thing ever. You just gotta fucking farm all materia. It's so annoying. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. Okay. So this is where we're gonna have that uh that scorpion boss battle. I always forgot his name. I can taste the Mako. I wanna blow it up. I just wanna point out we are considered terrorists. <laughs> like that way. Down the ladder, dummy. I 
I love how I love how Jess out of out of everybody out of uh, Barrett, Biggs and Wedge, Jess is like Cloud has like a soft spot for her. So he can tolerate her shenanigans. Cause if it was Barrett, he'd be like, Who you calling dummy? Who you calling stupid? You must be talking to yourself. Alright. I did not press that button. I pressed R2. Wait, does R2 activate it? Oh, it does. Wow. I cannot reach that. Barrett, help! Ow! Wait, Barrett can guard, right? Hold up. Yeah, he can. It don't look that good, but he can. Here you go, Cloud. Because Barret has a little bit more health than you. Oh, so it's just not, it's not like an endless shot. There is like a, a finisher to it. To his like gun arm shit. Also, I always wanted to see like, like the actual connection to his, to like his arm in the in the gun. I love how it's just like hab haphazardly just slapped on there. Cause I mean that makes sense from where he's from. They really don't have like much technology like that. You think if we fell in, we sink right down to the bottom. To the planet for a while. No. Punisher mode is the shit. Can I? We have 20. Here you go, Barrett. Heal myself up. I'm gonna top off Barrett. There you go. Ether. Nice. Ooh, shimmer boxes. Hold up. What is this, Mako Shard? Alright. Do we have a Phoenix down? We don't, do we? Huh. Okay. <coughs> Goddamn. This is where, like, a save point would be in the original game. Oh, hold up. I just saw something to interact with. Am I crazy? I must be. I thought I saw something I could interact with. Alright. So... Hmm. Hold up, I want to see. Maybe it'll be different this time. Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. I'm just here to take Marlene's schooling funds. I love how Barrett's like, you're not gonna win this argument. You're gonna set the bomb. Look at him! <laughs> He's happy about it! Wow. Sephiroth. Huh. So that's weird. Maybe it's just a demo thing? I'm fine. But... What about the timer? We don't hear Zack's voice. At the time, uh, fucking 20 minutes, of course, bitch. Pretty cocky, ain't you? At least they gave us a choice. So, if they give us a choice there, there probably will be choices later on in the in the game. Like, when you're running away and um, you can get a flower from Aerith. Heads up. What the hell? All 
All right. So how does this boss actually work? Oh. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Oh, it's targeting me. Fuck out my way, Barrett. Oh. Okay. So we're not gonna be dodging that one. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna no, not spells. Thrust. Keep it together. Spells. Thunder. Keep it up. I want cloud. He looks like he's going to start aiming at me. Alright, spells, thunder. Huh. It didn't get staggered. But now it's doing this shit. Oh, my bad. I, I pressed the button because I wanted to sprint. Ow, ow, ow. Barrett. Help me out here. I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck. Alright. Barrett, you don't have your ATP, huh? Items. Oh, I do have Phoenix Downs. Okay. Let me heal myself. Wow. He is fucking me up. Jesus. Oh, I'm out of MP for Barrett. Okay. Oh, Cloud just got yanked up, did he? Oh. Alright, some enemies will occasionally bind your party members with unblockable attacks. If your character is bound or unable to act quickly, use different character. Okay. Abilities. Focus shot. Let go of him, bitch. Good job. I got you, Cloud. Don't worry. No, I wanna... You're gonna need this. Abilities, steel skin. There we go. Oh, it's pressured. Okay. I don't have. I do. Fucking shit, man. Cloud. Hit it. Hmm. Barrett. Does steel skin help me with like? Does it give me like super armor? Oh yeah, it does give me super armor because it says how easily you are interrupted. I had to fucking, I had to really look at that one. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, that tail! God damn it! Abilities. Focus thrust. Did I just bounced off of it? Don't overdo it. You ain't stopping us. Focus shot. Oh, did that like knock it down a bit? <laughs> oh no, it was just moving. All right. So Cloud's weapons are bouncing off of it right now. I'm gonna throw Ether on Barret because I want him to be able to heal Cloud. Because I believe Cure's doing more than um. All right, uh, Cloud. 
Oh, oh, hold up. I didn't notice. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Lock on. There was something else that I could target right there. Abilities. Focus shot. No. He had something else, like a shield generator? Fuck. Okay. Steel skin is still effective, because... Because, uh... Baird is still sparkling. So... Oh. Well, thunder should help, actually. Ability. Steel skin. Bow. Cloud is almost going to have his, um... Whatchamacallit? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So I was wondering how like they would do the tail thing because in the original game the tail was like a counter move it would do. Can Barrett still shoot it from here? No, not really. Spells cure cloud. You know what? I don't think I should use overcharge unless my ATP is low, right? Oh, good thing I have steel skin on, bitch. I'm gonna heal Barret. Okay. I wonder if there will be materia that can, like, get aggro from enemies. Because would Barret... Because, like, even in the original game, I would always give Barret the cover materia. And that way, so he can act as, like, a tank, because he does have a higher health pool just for being, like, a bigger character. Alright, abilities. Go get him, Cloud. I like how I'm actually playing as Barrett more than I am playing as Cloud right now because it's just a very situational thing. We're playing as Barrett and like doing damage from range and like just managing clouds uh, HP is seems like an easier strategy to deal with oh, look at cloud just taking attacks staggered cloud do you have your limit break not yet but thunder oh look at that damage I can't use thunder again focus shot Man, I've been focusing on healing Cloud so much that I gotta. It's healing itself. Are you dead ass? I've been healing Cloud so much. Get the left leg. My steel skin ran out. Let's re up that, and then tell Cloud to do another braver. I'm gonna take out its legs. It's just healing himself. So I can do focus shot. And then do overcharge. You crippled it. Great. I gotta hold up. Switch the cloud. Come on, cloud. You're so close to your limit. 
Come on, Cloud, you're so close to your limit. Come on, Cloud, you're so close to it. Aha! Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When your gauge is full, you can use limit break, which are extremely powerful attacks. You do not need to spend ATP charges to do these attacks. Don't let up. Time to finish this. Go, Cloud. Cross slash. Get him. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm assuming that limit breaks are so powerful now that you're going to have to do a, a lot of fighting just to get it. Because in the original game, you can get limit breaks real easily. Huh. Looks like we were lucky. And it fell into the reactor. Look at all these particles. And you guys wanted this on the PS3. Come on. Come on. We've got to move. I still I still wish this should be a like PlayStation 5 release. Barrett left party. What the hell? Barrett! <laughs> you don't leave me like that. Hold up. I gotta heal myself. There we go. Am I climbing faster? Oh, I am climbing faster. If I do the dash. Alright, cool. We got 20 minutes. Give me a break. Oh, motherfucker. You dead ass? Punch mode. I'm sorry if I'm not talking that much. I'm like actually really enjoying this right now. Jess! No! She got her leg stuck! I'm coming to save you! Don't worry. I got you, Jess. I'm com- Am I going the right way? Okay, go. Why, why aren't you going, Cloud? Go. You okay? Are you alright? Jess has now joined your party. I wish. This route should lead us straight to Barry. Probably. Alright. I think I see an exit. Come on. Shimmer boxes. Uh. I can't dash anymore. I guess it's so I don't run in front of Jess. I can still climb ladders fast, though. I just can't like that. Oh, now I can. Okay, so I guess when they're following an enemy... Um... Look at Barrett! Climbing with one arm! Get it, Barrett! Soldier boy up in it. Oh, X, soldier boy. They're here. Watch me crank reef. Watch me roll. Watch me crank that omni slash and kill Sephiroth. Like, oh, I, I had to think of something. I can't reach up there. Bear it. Shoot the enemy for me, damn it. No, no, no. Wrong one. Shoot the other enemy. There you go. Overcharge. Bow, 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 bow. Come on, Barrett. Where 
really, man? Now's not the time. Oh, Barrett's limit reset. So, guess we can't show off his limit break. Damn it. Fire. I keep going with spells. I keep going to spells. I gotta stop doing that. Alright. Make quick work of that. I want to point out... I'm level, what, 8? And Barrett's level 7. At this area in the game, this is the beginning, you would be level 1. So, doing this in 20 minutes is going to be a pain in the ass. And that boss is going to be hitting real hard. Focus shot. That should be able to take it down in one hit, right? No, nope. close enough though. All right, let's get out of here, Barrett. Come on. Sure you could. Sherman boxes. Huh. The lasers are off. Oh my God, the shock troopers. Oh, they're dodging like a motherfucker. What? Holy shit. This man's dodging all my attacks. Oh, wow. Bellies braver. Staggered. Uh, got him. Dodge that, bitch. Alright. Let's keep going. More shock troopers. Counter! Counter! Bitch! Counter! We can do this all day! Oh! My man hit me in this- hit me in the air! Shock Trooper A, get him! Wow! <coughs> oh my god. I got like something in my throat. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh, wait, hold up. Why am I shooting at that? Go for the shock trooper. There we go. Shooting? Did I just say, why am I shooting at that? Wow. I'm using the sword. Bow. All right, you're up, Barrett. I don't want to use overcharge because it's almost dead. There you go. Now I'll use overcharge. Cloud almost has his fucking... His, uh... <laughs> his uh whatchamacallit limit again so I guess I guess you just get crazy amounts of limit when you're just getting damage but like attack isn't as much cause in the original game like you would still get a significant amount even just by attacking That is so interesting. Holy shit. In the original game, like you just get out and the and the place would explode. But since they're adding new scenes, it's showing that like Shinra was planning to blame Avalanche for everything at the beginning. That's crazy. Because in the original game, Shinra blaming Avalanche was more of a, like, reaction to them bombing the, uh, the, uh, um, what's it call it? The Mako reactor. 
but in this game it's uh in the remake they're like nah they actually planned it from the beginning that's crazy let's get out of here it's just gonna trip and fall yeah <laughs> get up <laughs> what the fuck just like the original oh my god Wow, they're going, they're doing everything. Oh. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Cloud Strife. Soldier, first class. <laughs> oh my god, wow. This is really cool. I like that they're still like keeping to all the stupidity of like the original but like putting new spins on them crazy it's like it's like Barrett wants you to put the bomb and you're like nah, I'm not doing that and he's all like well yes you are <laughs> he's like I'm winning this argument I'm happy oh the demo's over it seems and then we go our separate ways and head to the train station. And then we run against... That's when we meet Aerith. She gives us flower. Huh. I wonder if there's an... The flower's still on him. I wonder if there's an option to, like, not take the flower and then Cloud won't have it. And then maybe when you head back to Tifa's bar... And if you have the flower, Tifa will be like, hmm, where'd you, uh, where'd you get that flower? Wow. Just a month away. And there he is. All right. Okay. Well, that was the Final Fantasy 7 remake demo. Holy shit. Also, let's talk real quick. Fucking <laughs> Chocobo Chick and Carbuncle's redesigns look terrible. Anyways, um wow. There's one thing that I there's so far there's one thing that I don't like. And maybe it will change when the game comes out. Maybe they're just, like, keeping it under wraps for, like, spoilers or something. Or maybe they'll not do it in the first game and add it in this uh, part two. Because it would make more sense. Um, when Cloud is having, like, the, uh, like, his headaches and his visions and stuff. You are, you're, like, it's supposed to be him, him talking to Zack. But there's no voice for Zack. And if they make it so that, like, if they make it so that, like, his, uh, like, his visions and stuff are only him seeing Sephiroth, I honestly don't think I would like that. Because Zack is a important character. If they don't do it in the first game, they have to do it in the second game. Especially since you visit... Uh, Zack's hometown. But, other than that, I don't think there's much, there's much that I don't like about this. I know for a fact the battle system, some people are not going to like it because some people just don't like the Kingdom Hearts battle system. They think it's too easy and stuff, but the way I always see it is that, yes, Kingdom Hearts battle system is easy as fuck, but it also depends on what enemy you're fighting. Like, for example, fighting Lingering Will. Like the, the final boss in that game. That motherfucker's hard. Not final boss, the secret boss in that game. That motherfucker is hard. Like, and that battle system is so easy, but his all his moves just out-trump yours. So, I feel like that's a lot with, with this going on. I want to know how the other boss fights will play out with this new battle system. Because 
that tank dude was fuck i mean tank dude wow that scorpion dude scorpion robot that motherfucker was tanky like he barely staggered at all but what about like the other enemies and stuff the other bosses like um like the fucking genova cells and stuff like that or even just fighting like like uh do you ever i'm trying to remember in the original game do you ever fight like a regular version of sephiroth i don't think so and i'm not counting like the ending um i don't think you ever fight like a regular version of sephiroth just like you know sephiroth oh my god the flashback when you head to niflheim is it niflheim is that cloud's hometown or am i thinking of something else i think it's niflheim the flashback where like Sephiroth's on your team I wonder how that's gonna play but that's all on the second part I'm getting ahead of myself but the first part they said it's gonna be the length of like of like it's gonna be its own full game like I heard different things that it might be a little shorter than Final Fantasy 15 it might be longer than Final Fantasy 15 if it's longer than Final Fantasy 15 they gotta add a lot of shit but I really wanna I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to have to see what that uh, affinity thing is because that's really interesting and if this game has multiple choices because I would I like I hope they have choices, like dialogue choices. Um but if they don't then I will understand too because you know, they're trying to like reimagine these characters. So far I it's the beginning of the game, and Cloud is still acting like this stoic fucking emo badass or whatever. But it's not. But it's the same thing in the original game. It's not until like he sees, T not until you like meet Tifa and Aerith, where Cloud just becomes like this huge fucking dork. So I hope, I really hope that he's like a fucking loser, because I'm gonna be honest, Cloud is the biggest simp known to mankind. It takes one girl to tell him, yo, put on this dress. And he's all like, but why don't we just go in and kill them? It's like, no, put on the dress. You want to sneak into the whorehouse, right? Put on the dress. Do these squats. <laughs> Do them squats. You know how to squat, right? Let me show you how to squat, just in case you don't know. <laughs> Got to keep doing this. Head to the Honey Bee Inn. Oh, my God, the Honey Bee Inn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, the honey bee in. I totally forgot about that. Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> For those who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that's another thing. I feel like, of course, there's a lot of people who love the original Final Fantasy VII. Um, I feel like there's gonna be this weird thing where the game comes out and you're gonna first of all you're gonna see a bunch of stupid like clickbait shit that's like cloud is confirmed to be lgbtq right you know because he's wearing a dress um either that or here here's the worst scenario the worst scenario to that because i don't i don't care if you like i don't want to say i don't care uh i'm not trying to get political <laughs> i just want to say like like it made I don't like I'm not gonna get into that stuff right now, but I feel like the worst case scenario that can happen is that um is that the game comes out, Cloud gets put in the dress, all the fans are like, Yay! But then either two things will happen. One thing will happen where because in the original game it's played as a joke. Um, because, you know, it was different times and stuff like that. And also, it's Japan. Japan has different views on homosexuality and stuff like that. So, I feel like that one thing, two things will happen. Either A, it'll be like, Japan displays their homophobia due to putting Cloud in the dress and making fun of it. You know, with all those clickbait headlines and stuff. Or it'll be something along the lines of... Of... of Like, just, just like a big, what's what I'm looking for? A big scandal of like, of, is Final Fantasy VII saying that it's not right for a man to dress up as a woman? Cloud dresses up as a girl, and, and oh my god, they play, they laugh at it, and 
it's the game is fully homophobic. Either that or, you know, someone's going to be reaching to be like, you see, they represented us. Cloud's wearing it. Right? You know, there's two ends of the spectrum where both of them are like very, very, um, what's wrong? Like, very extreme to a fault. <laughs> right? One is just like a baseless lie of like, of like, oh, they must really hate gays. And the other one is like, guys, they... <sighs> They reworked Cloud's character. He's super gay. <laughs> so, I mean, there's both, like, two sides of it that are, like, pretty bad. Especially when it's misconstrued. I, like, I'm, I'm telling you, give it a week after this game comes out, you're going to see some kind of headline about LGBTQ shit in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, whether it'll be good, whether it'll be bad, hopefully I'll just, hopefully it'll be something like Final Fantasy VII shows how accepting it is, right? But, um... Other than that, there's really no other big... There's one more thing that I'm really interested in to see how they handle. Because... I, minor spoilers. Because there's a part in the game where you meet Hojo. And, you know, he... You know, Eris gets kidnapped and stuff like that. Um, and Hojo is trying to do something with Eris. <laughs> in order to preserve the Cetra race... Both with Eris and Red 13. In the original game, he outright says it. He's like, man, I'm doing this for, for the world, for nature, for science, to preserve their race. See this girl and this dog looking creature? They got a fuck. And it's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> so I wonder how they're going to handle things like that. <laughs> because that's fucking... Because even me playing that game, I'm like, wait, what did you just say, Hojo? <laughs> what are you into? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Um, yeah. So, I can't wait to see Tifa's Bar, Outer Haven, I believe it's called, or Outer Heaven, or something like that. I might be wrong. I think that's what it's called, at least. Or maybe that's just Metal Gear. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see Marlene. Marlene's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a nine-year-old fucking holding down the bar. Um, I can't wait to see... Can't wait to see? Wow. I can't wait to see Reno and Rude. Uh, Reno, Rude, and Sing. Sig, or fuck, however you pronounce his name. And then, what's the what's the girl's name? You don't see the girl until uh, they leave Mid Midgar. I want to see how they handle the, uh, the bike sections. Like when Cloud hops on his uh, motorcycle. Well, his motorcycle, quote-unquote, it's definitely his, quote-unquote, is the biggest lie ever. Because that was a fun thing to do in the original game. So fun that you head to the Golden Saucer, there's a mini game for it. Um, there's a lot of things I can talk about, but I don't want to spoil the game too much for those who've never seen it. And, again, like, once Final Fantasy VII comes out, we're going to play the game. Hopefully, you guys come and watch it. I know there's going to be a lot of people both old to the Final Fantasy franchise and new to the Final Fantasy franchise that are gonna hop on Final Fantasy 7 Remake but I really hope that you guys come and watch my playthrough and if not watch my playthrough at least go watch it from someone who knows what they're doing please please don't don't watch your basic bitch youtuber <laughs> please um try and learn something uh, yeah, but Final Fantasy VII Remake. Also, here's one thing I think I should tell you. For those who are going to buy, like, it's pretty, it's probably pretty late to say this. For those people who are going to buy, like, the Collector's Edition from, like, uh, like, First Class Edition box set, whatever, from, like, Poachers and stuff like that. Um, not Poachers, what's the word I'm looking at? Scalpers and stuff like that. Don't, don't do it don't do it like it's such a waste of money even the initial price for that thing is such a waste of money let me tell you what the game's gonna come out you should get the deluxe edition either digital or physical because that comes with both carmuncle and cactor a uh, cactor wow it says right there cactuar um it doesn't come with chocobo chick but do you honestly think that they're not gonna put like a five dollar dlc like within a month or two of the game coming out for you to get chocobo chick so 
yeah, there's that. And your deluxe edition, I should say get the physical deluxe edition because that also comes with the soundtrack and art book and stuff. The only thing it doesn't come with is Chocobo Chick and the figure. And if you want the figure, you can literally buy the exact same figure of Cloud for like $92. Dude, the only thing you don't get, like the only thing you cannot get in that first class box edition, if you don't get the first class box edition, is uh, the motorcycle that comes with Cloud's figure. But let me be honest. Yes, it's nice to do poses for like your figures and stuff. But when you buy, when you buy a figure, you're not buying it for the add-ons. The motorcycle is just a fucking add-on. You're buying it for the character. You can literally buy the exact same Cloud figure for less of the price. You're going to save like at least $100. If you just buy the deluxe edition separate and fucking buy the buy the um buy the figure separate. So for those of you who are saying that like, oh man, they sold out and I'm not gonna be able to get just do that. Just do that. You're gonna save so much money. Like I saw that and I said, $320? Are you crazy? I don't even think it was 320. I think it was like $340 for it or whatever. And then of course it sold out, and now you got scalpers that are like Hey man, I'm not sure about you, but you should pay uh, you should pay about like five hundred dollars for this. And hell no, you're crazy. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of like a PS PSAA I want to throw out there for uh, for people who aren't gonna get the uh first class edition. You can literally just do that. So that was the last thing I really want to say. Final Fantasy remake comes out, I believe, April third. I'm not gonna I can't promise that I'll make a video day one when it comes out but look forward to it nonetheless um also by the time this video comes out my Pokemon Sword playthrough should be coming up and everything on the channel like uh the Resident Evil 2 streams that I did for Claire's playthrough um all the stuff like that uh the Arkham Asylum stream that I did, like, uh, a little bit of Psychonauts that I played, all that should be coming out at the same time. Please go check that out, and if you like this content, I don't like saying it, but I have to do it, because that's how YouTube works now. I have to ask you guys, if you like this content, please press the like button, or even if you don't like it, press the dislike button. It helps with the algorithms and shit. It gets things there. Um, other than that... Yeah, tell me, uh, if you're A, if you are someone who has played the original Final Fantasy VII, um, in the comments below, try not to be too spoilery, but I do want to know what your favorite part of it was, like, with, whether it was, like, a side quest thing, uh, getting, getting everyone's final limit breaks or something like that, like, because I have a lot of favorite parts, but if you can narrow down one favorite part of it, just put it there some people will be like i like the chocobo breeding but um the child garden what but yeah for old people for you oldies you boomers out there uh in the comments below tell me what your favorite part of the original final fantasy 7 was and what are you looking forward to for them to do new in the final fantasy 7 uh, remake and for the new people out there uh, tell me if you ever played a Final Fantasy game, and if you did, what's your favorite one? And if you're getting into Final Fantasy VII as your first game, like the remake, tell me what. Uh, tell me the reason why. Like, it just seems fun, or or your friends try to get you into it, or something, or you played Smash Brothers, and you're like, who's this emo fuck? But yeah, a lot has gone on. I said I wasn't gonna do this video for like an hour, but it's like an hour thirty now. Um. <laughs> But, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take off.